Judging the value of estimates is a necessary skill in the real world. By real world, I mean the part your math students insist your lessons will never be used in. Ratio and proportions are also a part of that real world, and this unit connects the math to daily situations like never before. The teaching module is based overall on formula Mazda racing that happens right here in Ohio. A large part of it, though, is about discovering the automotive carbon footprint various everyday cars leave behind. It also focuses the student on his family's driving habits, helping him use mathematical conclusions to make changes in his immediate and greater worlds. Hmm, math as a useful tool? Who could have known? Students begin the unit with some simpler problems while learning interesting facts about Formula Mazda cars. They continue with an examination of the facts about cars they drive themselves or those owned by their families. They examine unit rates of various cars as ratio of miles to gallon. Then they calculate pounds of carbon used by various vehicles and discuss their family's carbon use and impacts on the environment. A section about three families, the Greens, the Guzzlers, and the Middletons, follows and reveals some surprising lessons about fuel consumption and driving habits. The students make conclusions and back them up with mathematical proof. Students then plan a week-long trip to all of the racetracks in Ohio using Google Earth to help them determine distances and routes. Google Earth is an amazing tool and has a built-in interest factor. Don't worry though, help for the teacher who has never used this website is included. Included also in the module are a series of formative questions as an introduction to the learning process. There's also a summative evaluation that includes short answer test questions, set up and scored as they might be on the OAT or OGT. We remember to glossary and both student and teacher sheets as well. By the end of this unit, students should be able to estimate, compute, and solve problems using ratio, percentages, and proportions. They'll also have a greater awareness of their own driving habits and their own automotive carbon footprint, which isn't necessarily math, but it's not a bad thing either. For more help, please go to westernreservepublicmedia.org slash mathinmotion.